I can't believe that four years has passed already. Once again, I'm excited to be putting my name on the ballot. I have been actively involved in my community prior to becoming a Markham City Councilor in 2010. Over the past 20 years, I have volunteered with numerous organizations including York Regional Police, Toronto Police Services, Markham Union Mill Rotary Club, Scouts Canada, and Centre for Immigrant and Community Services, CICS, to name a few. After being elected as city councillor for Markham in 2010, I have continued to carry on actively with my community work on top of my busy schedule as a city councillor. I'm proud to introduce the annual May's Chinese New Year celebration dinner to Markham. This fundraising event has been held since 2011. Benefiting organizations have included Markham Stowe Hospital, Center for Dreams, Cherish Integrated Services. Once again, I thank you uh, a lot of members from uh, Cherish Integrated Services. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad that my idea was so well received and further introduced Chinese culture and traditions to the mainstream. This annual event enriches the multicultural diversity of our city. The Markham Together for Giving is another fundraising event for charity organizations in Markham, and I'm proud to be one of the organizing committee members. I currently sit on 18 committees in the city of Markham to serve different needs of residents, including to name just uh, the two, Transportation Committee and Budget Subcommittee. Some of my achievements over the past four years include closing of strata aggregates just next to this plaza. With numerous requests and complaints about air pollution from my ward residents, I motioned in 2012 to have the Strata Aggregate site on Roddick Road closed. As the Vice Chair of the Transportation Committee, I've worked closely with staff to successfully install speeding radar devices at the problem streets. I have also requested that your regional police increase patrols in my ward to make it an even safer community. I have, I have actively participated in the budget com uh, committee meetings, ensuring our property tax rate has stayed as the lowest in the GTA and surrounding areas. And in 2012, with 4,000 volunteers and proud Markham residents, I successfully organized the world's longest dancing dragon, an incredible 5.6 kilometer long, and set a Guinness World Record. This accomplishment takes the city of Markham onto the world map. I sent out newsletter to my constituents on a regular basis, to update them on important happenings that might concern them in our community. <clears throat> However, there are some ongoing projects that I need your support to get them done in the upcoming term, include development of Buttonville, transforming the previous Buttonville Airport area into a new vibrant community with green facilities. There will be a state-of-the-art automatic vacuum collection system. We will be holding public information meetings for residents to voice their views and concerns. I have been involved in the approval of a flyover above Highway 404, north of Highway 7, connecting the city of Markham and the town of Richmond Hill. And this will dramatically improve traffic congestion. I will continue to work closely with Cathedral Town residents to restore the original 
original mission of the cathedral beauty and style. I have been working closely with staff for more parks, more community centers, and more recreational activities for seniors. In response to residents' concerns, I will continue to object to the installation of cell tower in residential neighborhood. Something else I will be, I will be objecting to strongly, and you may or may not know this, is the possibility of a casino in Markham. I want the city of Markham to continue to be called high tech capital of Canada, not a casino city. In closing, I will continue to listen to and represent my constituents to bring a united voice to Markham Council. I look forward to serving my ward for another four years. Thank you.